Well, hello guys, it's Danny Deals here. Thank you for tuning in to Un Poco Mas, the show where we give you just a little bit more. On behalf of myself, uh, executive producer Hurricane Lopez, and supervising producer Karen, we would like to welcome you to the program. Today, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I want to talk to you about SoFi Technologies, Inc., ticker symbol S O. F I and I always say I'm going to make a quick video. I never make a quick video. Uh, today I've had a lot of espresso and I'm going to get through this uh, very quickly. I want to talk about the absurdity first of this downgrade because it's just been bothering me. This absolute uh, d bag David Chiaverini, who's not only downgraded uh, SoFi twice, but then put out a third note with like a one cent earnings revision downgrade. So it's like three bad notes. Um, since the earnings, but just, just to point this out, guys, um, at a $2 and 50 cent target, you're talking about cutting the market cap in half from here. So the current market cap at five bucks is about 4.7 billion. So you cut that in half, you're talking $2.3 billion is his, uh, what he's saying the company should be trading at right now. Um, so sales this year are going to be 2 billion. So he's, and, and the growth is going to be about 30% on the top line. SoFi always, uh, you know, sort of bird dogs those estimates and under promises and uh, over delivers. That's just their MO. But guys, to say this company should be trading at like 1.15 times this year's sales um, with good gross margins, uh, really solid EBITDA growth, and on the cusp of making a net profit, they're he's saying they should basically be trading at less than next year's sales. It is absolutely absurd for a growth stock that is doing this well um, with student loans coming back, with their acquisitions finally starting to pay dividends. This has been a tough period for SoFi for many, many reasons. They've had to revamp their entire business, but... You know, to say that they should be trading, the company is worth less than next year's sales. You, the company would have to be going backwards, crashing, um, sales, margins, profits, all going down. But it's actually going the other way. Um, things are going up. SoFi is is beating and raising. Uh, SoFi is growing not only their top line, their deposits. Um, they're growing in all respects. I mean, not at the rate they used to, but as companies get bigger, they don't grow as fast as a proportion. So um, all these criticisms, that price target is absolutely absurd. And um, I, again, I can't prove illegal coordination, but just use common sense. I mean, this, this jack off had an $8 price target and buys all the way through. And all this information about, you know, their transition to, um, you know, too many personal loans, uh, all of this has been out there for months and months and months. And this pivot has been well known. Um, it was very clear on the last several earnings reports. And um, this guy still was giving buy ratings, an $8 price target. And then after earnings, instead of, you know, just cutting from, eight dollars to two dollars and fifty cents because it would look completely absurd and everyone knows that he made the cut in two steps directly after earnings the whole thing just stinks it makes no sense um this th I, again i can't prove these analysts and their moles in the media are directly working for the shorts or being paid but think about it think about it all the other analysts that have far better track records, if they're downgrading, they're downgrading by like 50 cents to like from seven to 650 or, you know, some analysts upgraded from eight to nine. And then, you know, you look at all these analysts that are respectable, um, all their price targets on the SoFi stock, like even JP Morgan, who's always been, you know, very, very conservative with their analysis, um, you know, they just reiterated a hold and a six dollar target, and they're one of the most bearish uh, analyst houses in terms of SoFi. But I, I wish the SEC and the FBI and people would really, really dig in to analysts like this guy at Wedbush, who you know just downgraded twice, and he felt that this earnings report 
and all of a sudden he woke up from his hibernation of the last couple of years and realized SoFi was making a lot of personal loans. And then he made up this story about how they're going to have to change their accounting structure. And he made up a story about how they're going to have to raise money uh, be at unfavorable terms because they're not able to uh, meet their goal of making a net profit anytime soon. It's all fiction. It's all a fugazi. It's a stick up. These guys are tools of the short sellers. So now let me tell you what's actually happened um, with the SoFi stock and why. If you can't figure this out, you're a freaking moron. Um, just take a look at these options uh, for this Friday. Um, take a look at the options, okay? Where are they? Where is all the action? $5 calls, 9,000 volume, 41,000 open interest, and negative 70% change in the value. I want to strangle you guys that keep buying these weekly call options. You're killing the stock. You are morons. Stop buying these things. You are playing to market makers. Only sell options or use them as a hedge. Don't buy these. You're you're throwing money away. You may as well just flush your money down the toilet. Correct? Collect premium. Let time decay work for you. You are so stupid. Stop buying options. Look at the chart, guys. Look at what happens on Fridays. Okay? Earnings earnings come out on a Monday. Okay? Right here, this is uh 5-1. Of course, the stock falls off a cliff, falls off a cliff. And then look what happens every Friday, guys. Okay, Friday's the 5th. The stock is held down to 5 bucks. Okay, Tuesday, Wednesday, the market makers are covering, accumulating, doing whatever they're going to do. And then lo and behold, what's the next Friday? Oh, it's the 12th. So th Thursday, the 11th, they start shorting the stock hard again. Um, and then all the way down to the 12th, Lo and behold, it's Friday. The stock is back at $5. Now, what do they do the next Monday? Boom. Again, massive short with help from crooked analysts. Um, sell the stock off. And then what happens during the week? The stock gets creep, creeps back up. They're covering. They're accumulating. They got morons to dump here. Retail morons to dump here. Retail morons dumping here. They got m retail morons to dump here and here who bought up here in the run-up. And then what happens on Friday? Oh my gosh, it's Friday uh, 19th. Where's the stock? The stock's down here under $5. Killing these options right here because you're all a bunch of morons. Uh, stop buying these things. Um, it's that simple. Um, there has not been much of an organic sell-off. Look, look at what's happened here. Um, it's just, it's not super complicated. I'm just going to give you the last 30 days because that takes us back uh, before earnings. Um, the last 30 days, the percentage of the free float on loan has gone from 17 to 30 in the last 30 days. The shares on loan have gone from 140 million to 235 million. Utilization from 70 to 100%. And this estimated short interest is a bunch of crap. It's not 12 to 14. And then the actual uh, free float uh, shares on loan, which you can actually measure, have gone up by 100 million. Um, guys, 100 million more shares on loan is the entire drop of this stock. It's like a huge percentage of the free float. This is a stick up. It's a fugazi. There is no sell off. The only people that sold off got stopped out. It's a bunch of crap. The media and the analysts and the shorts all pre-planned this sell-off. They all had their stories locked and loaded. They all had their stories coordinated. SoFi's in trouble. SoFi's in trouble because they're making a lot of personal loans. Well, would you rather they just, you know, locked the doors and went out of business when the government did everything they possibly could to kill this company and then kill the economy because their own incompetence, they created a bunch of inflation and everyone wants to blame SoFi. SoFi's so greedy. SoFi's evil. They want people to pay their obligations so, you know, they can stay in business as a company. Why, why is SoFi so evil? SoFi actually helps people more than most other financial companies. They give people a better interest rate. They give the customer a bigger piece of the pie. 
And that's what these financial institutions and the analysts and all these people don't like because their lives exist to pick your stupid pocket. Their lives exist to take money from you and give it to the market makers. That's what they're doing here. This is all a scam. It's all an illusion. Everyone works together to create this narrative and pick your pocket. If you can do anything, please stop buying weekly call options. Stop buying options at all. You're too dumb. You're too weak. You don't know what you're doing. If anything, learn about selling options. That's how you make money. Okay. Sell some covered calls, but more, more than that, just buy long shares. Take the money you were going to put into these stupid short-term weekly call options and just buy a few shares. Yes, you'll control less shares, but they can't go to zero on Friday like they do every single Friday. Look at this, guys. Look at the chart. Look at the options. Add it up. Okay? Add it up and stop doing it. A uh, good piece of news, Galileo Financial Technologies joins Amazon Web Service Marketplace. Um, this, this is really good news because the stock got hit. Another um, part of the narrative was Galileo's losing customers because they lost like five net customers. And they came out and said, look, we're onboarding some larger customers. We're actually going to make more money. But nobody wanted to hear that. So now that they're on AWS, they can much more easily add and manage some of these smaller accounts to grow their absolute account numbers. So it's... One more BS reason the shorts and the analysts, the crooked, corrupt analysts can't attack this stock. Is this stock worth one year sales with a 30% top line growth rate and uh, good margins? It's absolutely absurd, folks. It's absurd. And um, I can't do anything about it, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to huff and I'm going to puff and I'm going to give myself, um, you know, an infarction sitting here uh, stewing about it because that's all I can do. But I'm just going to continue to buy shares when they create these dips. I'm going to hold all my shares. And um, I'm going to keep my uh, confidence in the management over at SoFi because um, they've been doing an amazing job under extremely, extremely difficult circumstances. And again, um, don't buy this hype. Don't buy the FUD. All they want you to do is so simple. This is how shorts work. You have to buy on FOMO, that little run up to earnings in the low sixes. They were giving you all these cues that institutions are starting to come in. Everyone loves SoFi, buy here in the sixes, and then they get you to panic sell down in the fours. They made 30%. You lost 30% in the course of a week, a couple days, a couple weeks, whatever it is. Um, everyone works together to take money from retail and give it to market makers. They're screwing you over. Stop doing it. Buy long shares, hold those shares. They can't rob you. Um, this has been a little SoFi update. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Danny Deals. The show is Un Poco Moss. The producer is Hurricane Lopez. Uh, Toper time check. It's May 19th at 9.40 a.m. out on the Pacific Coast. That's 12.40 p.m. out in NYC. Hope it's a great day wherever you are. Hopefully your investments are doing a little bit better than mine today, but I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to stay cheery. The weekend is coming, and we don't have to worry about our stocks for a couple of days. Please enjoy your families. Enjoy your lives. Have some fun. Get some sunshine. If you have uh, watched the end of this video, I certainly do appreciate you. Um, the stock is SoFi, ticker symbol S-O-F-I. This guy is Danny Deals, your buddy with investment rants and, uh, you know, all that stuff. Thanks. Have a good day.